The racist. I mean, this is our land. This is our community. This is America. We have the right. Rigo was born in San Diego and lived in Tijuana at an early age. His family moved back to California when he was seven and settled in San Ysidro for five years until moving back to San Diego, which Rigo has considered his home ever since. At the age of 11, Rigo's passion for lowriders was born when his brother's friend brought over his lifted 1957 Chevy. At such a young age, Rigo had to wait before he could pursue his own lowrider aspirations, but by the age of 17, he had bought his first car to work on. There was a lot of turmoil within the neighborhoods of San Diego during the early 1970s, and Rigo is trying his best to stay out of trouble. Lowriding helped keep him off the streets and away from gangs. Growing up in San Ysidro also exposed Rigo to the work of Cesar Chavez and the United Farm Workers, inspiring Rigo to take part in the Chicano movement. Rigo has been able to combine his passion for lowriders and Chicano activism by providing positive role models for Chicano youth and through his participation in Amigos Car Club. Our whole motivation was cruising. Yeah. We wanted to cruise the streets. And now it's taking a whole different venue. It's uh, taking yeah. the, that cartridge secret and that's a world within itself. I'm from the barrio, if you will. But eventually, it got sold out. It got sold out to uh, average U.S. corporation based out of New York City. Mm -hmm. Now, what does the New York City know about our barrios here in, in Southern California? Mm -hmm. So it, it, it became so corporate, whereas Lowrider Magazine became very corporate, whereas at one time it was our only our only ways or means of communication with the other cities all over our land, or all over the southwest. So now with, with other states and other people, Anglos and everybody, now it's pretty much open. It's an, it's an open, it's an open market. And the key there is market. That's what they want, market. So mm -hmm. it's to their benefit for more people to get involved with the lower the scene or whatever, although they're not, it's not part of their culture, but to them it makes them sell. Pick up on us if, if a lowrider was involved in a crime, and they would they would they sensationalize it. Yeah. Oh no. Pull the rag off the six foot, hit the switch, show the whole world how it go. To the, our traditions and uh, the way we give back to the community and it's a free culture to the public and it's, it's so nice to see the kids out there and the families and uh, you know they can go to a show see the cars not have to pay any money and to me that's what it's all about it's not about trophies or anything like that it's about giving back <laughs> 